I'm Military Vat 10. I'm here to show you what Zer has for his Destiny 2 loot inventory for this week on July 19th, 2024. He's in the same area over in the bazaar, right beside the ramen shop. If you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can always stay in the loop every time I post a new video. Okay, I'm just gonna hover over the rank rewards so you can just see them. Exe um, Xenology quest right there, getting an exotic cipher. Okay, his ball type area, strange offers. He's got Sunset Catalyst for 71 strange coins. Travelers Chosen Catalyst, 71 strange coins. Gemini Jester Leg Armor for the Hunter class, 41 Strange Coins. Dune Marcher's Leg Armor for the Titan class, 41 Strange Coins. Astro Kite Burst Helmet for the Warlock class, 41 Strange Coins. And to get Nightfall Cypher Adaptinoi, you need 97 Strange Coins. Okay, here's his more Strange Offers. Strange gift, it could be anything, a random weapon, armor, enhancement core, enhancement prisms, it could be anything. Okay, here's the strange gear offers. Okay, here's his exotic gear. 29 strange coins to get an exotic engram right there. All these are 23 strange coins for all these weapons. You got the Hawk Moon hand cannon. How amazing it always stays there and never changes it's always in that second column and what you want on this weapon is hammer force rifle in your first column and like I said the alloy magazine always stays in that second column and you want out of storm in your third column and you want a smooth grip for the fourth column for the weapon he's got the arborless linear fusion rifle Trinity ghoul combat bow prospector grenade launcher Okay, and there's legendary weapons um, to get this strange weapon engram, seven strange coins. And all these weapons right here will be 17 strange coins. He's got the nature of the beast hand cannon. Tactical mode, better for that. Fast draw HCS, yes, good. This is practically an A tier. Okay, and what you want is fast draw HCS in your first column. Accurize rounds in your second column, subsistence in your third column, and you want dragonfly in your fourth column, and you want it with that handling masterwork for the weapon. He's got that annual skate hand cannon. And what you want for this weapon, you want a fast draw HCS in your first column, Accurize rounds in your second column, slide shot in your third column, time payload in your fourth column, and you are handling masterwork for the weapon. He's got the arsenic bite 4B combat bow. And what you want for this weapon, you are agile bowstring in your first column. Compact arrow shaft in your second column, rampage in your third column, explosive head in your fourth column, and you want to draw time masterwork for the weapon. He's got the far future sniper rifle. And what you want for this weapon, you want a corkscrew rifle in your first column, accurize rounds in your second column. Quick draw in your third column, opening shot in your fourth column, and you want stability masterwork for the weapon. He's got the Honor's Edge Sword. All swords come with the Impact, master, uh, impact Masterwork, just so you know, they don't have anything else besides that. And you want Hungry Edge in your first column, Balance Guard in your second column, Tireless Blade in your third column, Shattering blade in your fourth column for the weapon. He's got the memory interdict grenade launcher. Spike grenades can be really good for certain grenade launchers. 
and what you want in this one, you want volatile launch in your first column, proximity of grenades in your second column, impulse amplifier in your third column, chain reaction in your fourth column, and you are handling masterwork for the weapon. Okay, he's got the crown splitter sword. This is specific to the Titan class. Every guard always stays the same on this sword in that second column and never changes. And what you want is jagged edge in your first column. And like I said, the heavy guard never changes for that second column. Relentless strikes in your third column. A forpal weapon for the fourth column. And all swords come with the impact masterwork. Okay, he's got the Eternity's Edge Sword. This is specific to the Warlock class. The Infinite God always stays the same and never changes in that second column. That's a really good sword right there. I'll pick it up if you don't have a good sword for the uh, Warlock. And what you want in this sword is Hungry Edge in your first column. And like I said, the Infinite Guard always stays the same in that second column. You want Relentless Strikes in your third column and Surrounding in your fourth column. And all swords have Impact Masterwork on the weapon. Okay, he's got the Quick Fang Sword that is specific to the Hunter class. That sword master's guard always stays the same and never changes in that second column. Jagged edge being your first column. And like I said, sword master's guard always stays the same. And you want relentless strikes in your third column. And you want assassin's blade in your fourth column. All swords come with the impact masterwork for the weapon. Okay, his armor he has for this week. Well, get strange armor and ground. Seven strange coins. All these armor pieces will always be 17 strange coins. And the armor he has for this week is the Gypsum Knight armor set. This was back in season one at the for the basic game. And it was from Ashmir on IO is where you got this at. Then it was reintroduced back in season 15, season of the lost. This here is the Titan's armor set. Okay, here's this armor set for the Warlock class. Okay, here's his Hunter's armor set. And that is what Zer has for his Destiny 2 loot inventory for this week. And as always, have an awesome day.